Okay, Dave, so um, this is uh, these moments um, on the file, uh, this one and uh, the others comprise a flashback to years 1999-2000. Your opening question, Dave, is difficult to respond to. I've never thought of myself as innovative. The web text published, self-published, was in pretext, Electra Light, which I can only assume that most of you listening here, there, everywhere, never knew about or have simply forgotten about this online journal. The journal was, but still is, in code and pics, established by Cynthia Haynes and me, she at UT Dallas and me at UT Arlington. The e-journal was housed at UT Dallas. Anyway, basically what I did in the, the piece titled, and, and you have to see the title visually to get the breakups in visual puns, but here it is in speech audio. Composing, come, plea, cating, processes. The emphasis in all caps of PLI, P-L-I, capital, is in French an allusion to folding and making layers. Perhaps you have read Deleuze's PLI, in English, the fold. So keep that in mind as I talk here. But yes, there is also an, uh, an alternative title of the yellow wall socket. Um, I dedicated the pieces of this article, or rather spectacle, to Kevin Kelly, Out of Control, his book. <clears throat> the file opens with a repeat of that information in the form of a GIF animation, which I was fond of making back in those days. In fact, on that page, thereafter, there is a whole series of word pics in animations with various colliding colors. At the near end of that sequence, there are GIF animations of quotations such as rub out the word. So understand there are conventional words at first and then they are translated into word images in GIF animations. Yes, rub out the word is from William Burroughs. But then I add this phrase, electrify the word. So rubbing out and electrifying the word, etc. Perhaps the theme of the work play is the wall socket that I allude to often about my time as a mere baby crawling on the floor and finding a bobby pin and sticking it into the yellow wall socket. Where did this take place? Yes, fondly, I recall. It took place, a sense of place, away from me in my grandmother's house. As I recalled on several occasions, I was thrown for a loop. There's more, but that's enough. I just spoke of this matter at uh, the seas, four seas in Tampa. <clears throat> I was on a wonderful panel with Sarah Arroyo, Cynthia Haynes, Jan Homovic, Greg Omer. Oh, and yes, we had Matt Levy playing his guitar to our presentations. Matt was a major player in the development of PTEL back in the days. So on the page that is not a page, I write, yes, entering the wall socket and the explosion. Looking at this site page on my monitor, I'm thinking, Maybe this is a set list of explosive, shocking, electrifying innovations after all. <clears throat> and then the page tells the viewer, you, soon, I hope, quote, yes, entering the yellow wall socket, end quote. What are the consequences if, if you enter, right? And there is the image itself on the page that is not a page of a statelessness of incubation. 
Then again, there is another question or a set of two offerings. They, and they are to be clicked on. One is readable and the other, these are the choices, unreadable. What do you want? Readable or unreadable? I'm looking at the site now that is playing on my computer. Keep in mind that I have the files. I think in retrospect now that this thing is a remarkable event. So if I click on readable, I get text and text and text as you find in books. Yet there are all kinds of GIF animations on the left side in the margin, interrupting the viewer's readings perhaps. And then at the end of the page, there is a link, yes, to the yellow wall socket. Clicking on this link sends you to the spectacle of the innovation. When you arrive, I reading out loud like I am now in two audio forms, simultaneously. But the innovation is that the visitor to this strange page without a page can click on any of 16 other audio buttons, one at a time, without turning off the other audios. The consequences of clicking on other audio files leads the visitor to foldings and layers of my voices. Simply put, I'm doing what Paul Miller taught me to do, sampling and mixing in layers of the text, of the voices that I wrote. Words, words, words. I spell the word, word, W-U-R-D, as we find in Joyce's Finnegan's Wake. <clears throat> the results are shocking the eardrums, making for something new in terms of words as music. See it in the file when P-T-E-L is reachable again. I will be sending the files to Doug Iman, uh, who will archive them at Kairos. Oh, the gods. Ah, now, I see. <laughs> I remember in yellow, over red, this statement in a GIF animation that reads, Out of this swarm comes innovation. The swarm, of course, refers to the multiple voices speaking over speaking. The spectacle becomes electoral swarms. Well, at least at the time I thought I was being innovative. Now, <clears throat> there's more Dave and you cats who are listening to these files on, on, the, on the text, the next text, untext file, okay. <clears throat> overstand, or instead of understand, overstand that the beat goes on. But yes, let me turn again again, again, and say that we, co-editors, Cynthia and I, were doing some exceptionally innovative happenings or instances in a flash of electrodes. Dave, as for my part, call me Vito. <laughs>